Here we are on number 40, and this question uh, was sneaky hard. I thought it'd be easier when I first read it, and then I did it, and I was like, yeah, it's pretty sneaky. So we have some triangle where DE is 60, square root of 60, and EF is 6. Uh, if it can be determined what is the length of DF. So I'm going to I'm gonna draw us a triangle here. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so there's my triangle. And I'm going to label it... Uh, I don't know, let's say D, E, F, whatever. So this would be square root of 60, and then E, F would be 6. And is there any way to find D, F? Well, a lot of people say there is a way, but if it was a right triangle, it'd be Pythagorean theorem, but we don't know it's a right triangle. It could be any type of triangle. So, um, no, we cannot use Pythagorean theorem to find that if it's not a right triangle. Um, the other thing is we don't know um, any of the angles. We don't know any of the angles, and we can't use Sokotoa because we do not know any of the angles, and it's not a right triangle. Um, the other option is we could use law of cosine, but we can't do that either because, again, we don't know any of the angles. So basically what I'm saying is it cannot be determined. Because um, like I said, first I try Pythagorean. Oh, it doesn't work. It's not a right triangle. Try Sokotoa. Ah, oh, can't do it. It's not a right triangle. Um, law of cosines, which is for when it's not a right triangle, but even for that, you need an angle to do law of cosines. We don't have it, so the answer must be K.